Hi guys, welcome back to Eliza's World. My name's Leanne and there's no Eliza today. That's because she's bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Give me something to play with and stop shoving a camera in my face. I'm bored. And it's only just the beginning of the six week holidays. It's time to make a boredom buster box. Let's go. So what I decided to do right before the six week holidays broke out was actually create Eliza her very own boredom buster box. I did this by grabbing a shoe box which I knew I'd already bought a few bits and pieces for this box so I grabbed a box which I knew these, these pieces would fit in. This Converse box was the only thing that I had so it didn't look perfect as I was wrapping it uh, but I thought I'd wrap it in some nice um, starry, jolly, exciting kinds of paper and make a kind of little deal of it by popping some tissue in the side as well. Inside the box we have um, the giant balloon from B&M, £2.50, um, an Elmer's slime, mini slime starter pack, um, that was £5 from um, Poundland, a Sudoku puzzle book, which was a pound from Poundland, a skipping rope, which was also a pound from Poundland, and a couple of just little toys, just to kind of spark the imagination, um, and they were one pound each from one below. I chose to buy, I didn't really want to push consumerism and just buying stuff just to plug a boredom gap, because I think that children tend to be more creative than when they're bored. They tend to make their own games, they tend to find things that we would normally not think of, so I wanted to kind of create sparks with the things that I bought as opposed to create something which would just fill an entire void. So I wanted to have things which create, which had creativity, such as the slime pack, um, but also activity, such as the giant balloon and the skipping rope as well. Um, with the Sudoku, I've noticed with Eliza that she's very mathematically minded and normal kind of crossword puzzles, word searches, she gets bored with very quickly. But when we introduced Sudoku to her a few weeks back, she loved it. Um, and this huge book was a pound from Poundland. Um, and this would be great for car journeys. I know kids have got switches and all sorts of things they can take on car journeys. But sometimes something basic is actually a bit better. Would any of you agree? Let me know in the comments below. So those are the items that I'm popping into the bag. Um, so that's six items there for six weeks, but we're not stopping there. I've also created these mystery cards. I've, I've included some things which are just standard, like go bake a cake, uh, go for a walk, um, but then other things that I've included are things which are a bit different. So we're going to do some tie-dye. I've actually ordered some white clothing and we've got some tie-dye dye that Eliza isn't aware of. Um, so I thought that that would be fun and keep us entertained for an afternoon. Um, and some of the other items I've included are kind of community-based items as well. So going and litter picking in the street or going to see if an elderly neighbour needs any help with anything. Those things which will encourage either activity, uh, creativity or community. So the rules to the box I've actually printed out on the inside of the box here. If you want a copy of that printout, feel free to change it to fit whatever your whatever your family is like. I know that this is something that Eliza would really like, but I know not all kids would like this, this the same kind of thing. So you can tailor this to however you want for your family really. But our board and buster box rules are before opening this box, have you had any fresh air today? Spent 30 minutes reading a book, being creative, drawn a picture, crafted or played an instrument, helped around the house or being active. If the answer is no to three or more of those questions, come back later. So basically, if they haven't done three, if they say no to three of those, then they can't use the board and box at all. They've got to go back. A lot of times children will forget to come back. So that's kind of what I'm banking on with this. 
remember that the box can only be opened twice a week so be sure it's something that you really want and really need to open it because once you've opened it twice that week it's gone till next week so that is the board and buster box and that will go in place from the uh, first week of the holidays, which is Monday, if you're watching this. Um, and hopefully Eliza will enjoy it. She's had a little peek at it. She doesn't know everything about it yet. Definitely not know. She doesn't know what's in the cards. Um, so she'll be very excited with some of these, these projects to do. Um, will your kids like something like this? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and we'll see you again for the next one very soon. Bye! I'm bored. The player with and jumps jumping a camera in my face. I'm bored!